Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Space Escape, also known as Mole Rats in Space. It's ages 7 and up, 2 to 4 players, and it takes 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to have your mole rats move towards the center of the board, collect their emergency equipment, and make it to the escape pod. Game Setup. Here we have a two-player game set up, and what you do for that is you each select a mole rat you want to play with, and if it's two players, they need to be on opposite side of the boards from each other. They each start with a little med kit in their packs, and then you put the emergency equipment on the spots corresponding to the picture on the equipment, and you place one snake out of each color on the corresponding color spot. Uh, you put the extra snakes off to the side, and you flip up one card face up in front of each player. In a two-player game, you are also going to want to take these three cards out of the deck. They have a blue border and have a red line through two little players on the side, so they are easy to spot. Gameplay. The youngest player gets to go first. We'll say that's orange. And all you do on your turn is you play your card, discard your card, and draw a new card. The game provides a hand reference chart with how to read the card so you know what the different icons mean. And uh, I recommend looking at the larger chart on the very back of the rules for what it means depending on where you land because it's just a little bigger and easier to read for your first time through. So it is Orange's turn and you always do the top part of the card first and then the bottom part. So this means all of the mole rats are going to move two spots. So we'll say he goes ahead and moves this way too and yellow is going to move this way too. You always have to move the same direction. You can't move one and then back. It always has to be the same direction. So he moves here. And then this means one brown snake is going to move two spots. So we'll have this brown snake Move one, two, and he has landed on this air shaft, which shoots him off into outer space. And then we put him back with the rest of the snakes. This is a good time to talk about the four different ways to lose this game. If your mole rat moves through a spot that has a snake on it, or a snake lands on your mole rat, your mole rat is bitten. Uh, so if your mole rat gets bitten, they, if the red, if he had been up here later on and, um, he moved through this spot that had the red snake, uh, that still, even if you don't land on the spot with the snake, you get bitten. If you land on the spot with the snake, you get bitten then too, but even just moving through, it counts. So if he was moving, he had to move through, he chose to do that and he moved through, he would be bitten and he instantly gets sent back to his start spot. He loses his med kit and he's okay, he can keep on going, but now if he gets bitten again, he does not have a med, cat and you would, med kit and you would lose the game. Other ways to lose this game are if the snakes, um, sometimes they move up ladders, if they manage to make it up into your escape capsule, uh, that is bad, so you will have lost the game. Also, if your mole rat it's okay if they go down some of the little air shafts that just plop them down a level, that's okay. But if he were to go down the same one that the brown snake went down, he has been shot into outer space and you would lose. And then the other way is if you run out of this deck of cards and um, you're still okay then. It's when, and even if this person were to play and there wasn't a card for them to draw, you're still okay. It's after this person has played their card, if this person doesn't have a card to play and it's their turn, then you've run out of time and you've lost the game. Okay, so we'll finish this player's turn. They have performed the actions and they discard this card. They draw a new card and place it face up um, beside them, which is very helpful because then they can plan out their moves based on what's going to happen here. This player has... Uh, this rainbow color means any snake you choose and it's just one snake so pick one to move up a ladder and you're probably going to try to choose one lower down so you don't have to worry about them getting in the escape capsule so they're going to move this one up you just move up the nearest ladder spot so you can't choose to go all the way over here goes here they discard and place a new one 
this player's turn, when it is this color, when it's uh, the clear mole rat, it means it is your own mole rat. And they can choose to move it two or three spots, which uh, this one is going to choose three, one, two, three, so we can go up a ladder. Um, where you land uh, determines your movement, gets, determines your actions. So if you move through a ladder spot, you can't choose to be here and if, if you were here and had the same thing to go one, two, three, that's not, it's where you end up and where you land. So he was here and he can go one, two, three. It's just your landing spot that matters and you have to land on a ladder spot to move up. And then this symbol means that a new snake is placed on that spot. And so we'll go ahead and place this snake here and his turn is over and it would go back to this player. Here's a few common questions answered for the game. Uh, mole rats and snakes cannot go down ladders. That's not an option. You can also not choose to climb up an air shaft. Um, this orange mole rat has already collected one of the emergency items into his pack and you can collect more than one emergency item, especially if it's a four player game, it's not like each player has to collect one of the items. One player can collect more than one. That is just fine as long as they all end up in the escape pod at the end. It does not do anything to have a snake go on to one of the emergency items. You just are going to have to move that snake at some point because you can't collect the emergency item without being bitten if the snake is on the spot. Uh, snakes can share spots, you just stack them. It doesn't matter if they're the same color or if they're different colors. Uh, if they end up on the, if this moved over one, it would just stack on top of the brown, that's just fine. But mole rats cannot share a spot. They are too big, they will bump each other. You can choose which direction, but you bump each other over one spot. And to show that, uh, with this card, each of the mole rats get to move one spot. So we're going to have yellow move over onto the air shaft. He slides down and we're going to choose to bump orange this direction where he will go up the ladder and he hasn't used his movement yet. So he's going to move over one and go up here. Here's what the end of a game might look like. Uh, orange has gotten to the escape pod before yellow. And what that means then for the future is orange continues to draw and play cards. But if orange draws a card where originally they would just move their own mole rat, uh, this card becomes a card where they can pick one mole rat of any of their teammates and move them instead. So if this is Orange's turn and this is his card, he's going to go ahead and, with Yellow's permission, uh, choose to move him three spots. And then he climbs up the ladder into the escape pod and they have all the emergency equipment and they never even got bitten by the, mole, by the snakes in this game, so they have won. So that's how to play Space Escape. It's by the creator of Pandemic and Forbidden Island, so there's some street cred behind this one. And my kids love it and want to play it on repeat. So check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.